Good morning, guys. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while. It's been a minute. But I did want to explain myself. I'm so tired. I'm so sick of myself. Okay, so I've been quarantined for a while. Like, I've, like, Texas has opened up. But I have not really been like out and about. I've just been chilling at home, laying low, scared of the world. <laughs> but my brother has a baby on the way and he needs a little help getting things ready. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna be in Atlanta tonight. I'm going to an airport. <laughs> I'm so fucking sick of it. I'm so fucking upset, <laughs> like dude. Yeah, the germaphobe in me that I believe has been passed down um, is is screaming. I need to make sure that my nerves don't get too bad as I'm making sure that I'm not smoking. <laughs> like, my nerves can either go really, get really good or they can get really bad. But there's a few things that, like waiting in lines when, I'm, when I have been smoking, not good for me. I've had a bad experience um, waiting in a line. So I just like, I'll get really, really anxious. So... I cut that out last night, I did my thing. This morning I'm fresh and clear and then I've had my coffee. It always just gets me going and it makes me feel confident when I have my coffee. Um, so that's exciting. And then um, besides that, what else have I done to mentally prepare? Oh my God, was that it? I think that was it, I just didn't smoke. Wow, and I really thought that was like, like a fucking accomplishment. Okay. Well. But I wanted to show you guys what I bring. I'm bringing with me and how I'm going to be traveling, ideally as safely as possible. So of course I'm going to be masked up, gloved up, and then um, so I have a fanny pack. This will be the only thing that I will be physically like on me. Everything else will be secured in my um, suitcase. So in here I have my. Not to show you too much so i have my debit and credit card in this little slip here and then behind it i have my credit card but i don't want to show you that and they have them separated so my debit card and my id are in the sleeve and then my credit card which i feel more comfortable losing is loose and behind it then i just have ten dollars cash just something to carry if i want like a snack or something but ideally i won't have to do that i have my phone charger I have my AirPods. I have in my pocket, I am bringing a power bank, but I have really deep pockets. I'm wearing sweats and a big T. So my big T is gonna go over this. Like I'm gonna be whipping it up, taking everything out. Um, just so I can be hands-free. And then the two biggest items in here, I have Kleenex just in case, cause I have had a slightly runny nose today. And then I packaged up disinfectant wipes and I kind of like sealed them in here. There's probably at least 10 or 20. So when I get onto the plane, I can wipe down my whole seat, hit the Naomi Campbell real quick and then be good. And then attached is my hand sanitizer. So that's everything I'm going to need. Of course, I'm gonna have my phone on me um, as well. That will probably be in my other pocket. And that is it. been in Atlanta for a couple days. I'm actually staying a little longer than I expected. My brother wants me to be there for the baby shower. Um, but I thought I would put a quick little uh, story time in here because my friend thought it was funny. <laughs> the story's funny. What happened is kind of serious. So I thought, you know, fuck it. Let's talk about it. So um, I was out and about with my brother. Um, we were going to get his haircut and then I was going to go to get some food. So we're in downtown Atlanta and I'm walking around. Of course, protests are going on, so everyone has masks on. And um, 
I do want to preface this by like I'm a very naive person like I just I'm a very trusting person I've never really lived in like a like I live in a big city now I live in like the seventh largest city in the world but it's a very like spaced out city like it's not like I'm not in the you know I drive up to pretty much everywhere I go and like walk in if that makes sense and then I drive away I don't pay for parking and, and like things like that like I'm not in like a a city city where it's like block streets you know what I mean like in downtown so yeah and I'm not a very street smart person I can be honest about that like not really like I'm, I'm more friendly than anything <laughs> and I kind of realized like that's my problem so um, I was on my merry way to Arby's Arby's was closed so I was like okay I'll just turn around and go back um this guy starts talking to me he has a mask on of course like black lives matter gear so I'm like being friendly and then he like lets me know that he's homeless and I was like oh, okay so I, I feel for him basically I ended up giving him money because I did happen to have cash on me so um I gave him money and um i went on my way so i go down the street and i go back to the barber shop where my brother is and i just go and sit down and chillin and this barber shop is on like the first floor of the building and it has just a glass like you can see straight through it from the street um i'm chilling i'm on my phone i'm like this like i'm like focused you know what i mean like whatever and like i kind of notice things happening outside but i'm still just like i don't know like you know wasn't wasn't into it and then I like look and I recognize him and I'm like oh shit like that's the guy because he was really tall so I was like oh shit like, that's, that's definitely him and I was just like like he definitely probably like, I don't know I just had the feeling to like just like this wasn't a coincidence that he was there um so I just like kept looking at my phone like stone fucking face like sometimes as much as like it's fuck Instagram it is not fuck Instagram because that hoe is perfect for school you just focus when you want to ignore somebody um so i let him you know I'm, I'm focused my brother is getting his haircut so it's just him and the barber in the barber shop and then me and i'm right next to the window so it's window me and then my brother and the barber and this guy's trying to get my attention and like i couldn't really tell because i was that focused like i was like if you even like give somebody peripheral vision sometimes they can like catch that you know what i mean so i was really like that guy and um he's trying to get my attention he's trying to like come through the door and everything and like my brother is a very protective person of anybody like just people in general and especially his little sister so he of course starts like he's like getting up out the barber chair like whoa like, what was this guy doing because he can see that he's like trying to get my attention and like him and the barber are just like yo this guy's crazy i'm not giving you any attention they have no clue that i gave this guy money they have no clue that this guy has like seen me before they just think he's like some crazy guy like on the street <laughs> my friend thought that was so funny she's like about a what i was just like i mean i'm not like shit <laughs> i'm gonna just sit here <laughs> and have y'all get buck with him from the window <laughs> well i pretend like i don't see anything going on like literally like that's my like mo like i just act like i don't know what the fuck is going on like sue me um but yeah they like lock the doors and like he kind of he like, goes away then he just keeps coming back but um it was just very interesting it did shake me up i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i have had issues in the past with men just in general so it did shake me up but at the end of the day i'm just kind of like i mean like sometimes it is sad and it's it's kind of I think it was like a wake-up call before I moved to Houston in a bigger city that if I do want to live in a city I can't be as nice as I want to be all the time like this isn't the first time that I've given someone money and they followed me like it's just like sometimes you want to be a nice person but because of the way you look or because you're really sweet like people want to like push it with you like I've, I've had like I said like thank you for like opening my door and like i've had someone follow me around a store and be like oh like by the way like your voice is just so sweet i had to tell you i'm like dude that's fucking creepy i'm like that was 10 minutes ago like that's really scary so just be careful be vigilant ladies please 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 especially in these bigger cities i just thought i would put that out there since it did happen while i'm on vacation and since i think anybody anyone my age can relate that like it happens it happens all the time i really honestly shouldn't even be this casual about it i guess but i just am because it happens you know like if i dwell on it like i would just 
just always constantly be so scared but yeah and men do better like if you see your friends and they they're a little too aggressive or a little too like much this is you know pull them aside like hey like, that's not cool it's not how you get pussy it's a pretty simple conversation. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do a part two of this vi um, video of the Atlanta vlog. It's kind of been um, low key. They do have a curfew here. Um, I would like to get out and like see the protests and, and, and protest too. Um, but my brother is working and things like that. So I do hope so far you did enjoy. And um, I love Atlanta, I'll always love Atlanta. If there is a part two, I'll see you in the part two. If there isn't a part two, then I will see you in my next video. If you like this one, don't forget to leave it a like. If you like me, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram, Ivana Brooke. Bye and stay safe.